in five, four. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Chicken in the car. <laughs> run, dun, run, run. <laughs> you gotta tap that green right. dot on his face. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. It's good. Am I good now? Are we good? Do we have a little shine? Is there yes. a little shine going on? There's some on? shine. Okay. So we're telling, we're telling backyard stories. It's quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. That's what this means. Backyard. <laughs> backyard stories. Let's see. What do I got here? Are you looking at your notes? Yes, I have notes. <laughs> I was taking notes. I'm, I'm prepared. Uh, He's old. Are you that old? You can't remember? <laughs> So, I'm 40 now. I'm over the hill. Come on. All right. Let's see. I can't remember how old I was, but I do remember that in our backyard, we had a shed with vinyl siding mm -hmm. on it. And one of my bazillion jobs I had as a kid, because these two didn't have squat for jobs... <laughs> One of the bazillion jobs I had was taking care of the yard, raking the leaves, raking up all the straw, raking up everything, <laughs> chopping wood. Yeah, I handled an axe and chopped wood at like eight years old. I, <laughs> I think survived you were five, the 80s. Me too. Survived the 80s. I think you were five years old. I, I don't know if I was five, but <laughs> yeah. it, it is quite freaking possible. Um, so. We had the shed in the backyard, and we had a 50-gallon uh, metal barrel in our backyard, and we would put all the pine straw and stuff like that in there, and I wanted to go play, and Dad was at work, Mom was at home, I wanted to go play with all my friends, and they were hanging out in the backyard with me, but Mom said I couldn't go anywhere until I got rid of all the stuff that was in the burn barrel. So I cut all the grass, and I tried burning the leaves, and it wouldn't catch on fire. <laughs> and so, what do you do when you're a kid and something won't catch on fire? You grab an accelerant. <laughs> but not just any accelerant. You grab a freaking gas can. Like 87 unleaded. Straight up gasoline. Yeah, straight up gasoline. <laughs> so I grabbed said gas can. I'm probably one of the reasons why there are these funky gas cans nowadays. The government has all screwed up. Kick rocks, clown. <laughs> but anyway, so I go into the shed that I'm about to set on fire and get this gas can... And there's a little bit of a fire going on in there in the burn barrel. And right next to the shed was a doghouse. And in between the doghouse, where the little overhang for the, uh, the roof was, in between there, we piled pine straw in there to try and insulate it a little bit and keep it, keep it warm in there. And I grabbed the gas can and I started pouring gas onto the already lit fire and naturally the flames went up the stream of gas to the gas can, caught the gas can on fire and I freaked out and I threw the gas can at the shed so it hits the side of the shed and gas goes everywhere and it looked like <laughs> it looked like a scene out of apocalypse now <laughs> like everything just went on fire and every friend that i had in that backyard Which was gone who? Who was gone I, I can't even remember who is back there but fences were being jumped and asses were being hauled and i was left standing there with the freaking backyard on fire and no water hose no nothing so yeah, I, you I wonder why I'm still alive. I, I completely <laughs> melted the side of that shed, and I don't even remember how I got the fire put out, but <laughs> I did that. Yeah, I saw that. Then. I was in the backyard at Courtney's house next door. We were camping out in a tent that had fallen from the, the condensation. And we were just in a bag of wet. Nothing used to always start screaming. And there you go. Yeah. Yeah. And then 
And then what? What, what happened after that? When your father got home. Yeah, how that oh. situation handled? <laughs> oh, how bloke loose. Yeah, I, I was in some deep shit when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was always in deep shit, though. <laughs> so. Right. <laughs> I don't. Re I don't even remember that part because. <laughs> Did you get used to it, Jackson? When you watch this later on, just remember that your parents will always tell you that you're gonna get paid back for all the hell you did when you were a kid. <laughs> I've got it made with you, kid. <laughs> He's not a teenager yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you a little while, but so far so good. Yeah. yeah let's keep it that way. <laughs> okay. Now, what happened to Christy? So Christy, Christy. Little Miss Hothead, we were with it was me and Shannon and Christy were with Grandma, and we were we had gone to the grocery store or something like that. Library. The library. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we went to the library. We were coming inside, and we were walking in the front door, and Grandma had the the regular door, and then she had the screen door that had the little glass okay. where yeah. you could slide it up, you know, to yeah. cover the screen in the winter time, and we had walked in. And I can't remember if Shannon was ahead of me or not. I know Grandma was. But Christy was comes behind. running behind me and yelling at me to hold the door open or something like that. And I didn't. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was an asshole. I think you called it for everybody else but me. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I probably did. We'll get to why. <laughs> I was tormented just as much <laughs> by these two little... Demon spawns. <laughs> anyway, so I shut the door, and the next thing I know, I hear glass breaking. I look back, and Christy had put her hand through the plate glass window and sliced her wrist all the way across. And so I've watched, like, Rescue 911, like, five times by then. So I knew exactly what to do. I applied pressure to the wound, and I went to call 911 in a city that did not have 911. <laughs> they did it? No, Windsor, no. Virginia, in this 1980, in Windsor, whatever Virginia. the hell, Small did not, or 90. Yeah, they did not have 911. No. No. Grandma had to call something. I, I forget what she called. Was she in that rush? She herself? called the yeah. deputy. No, she called the deputy? She called the deputy, and the deputy came and took Christy and no, Grandma. We rode all together in Grandma's car. I remember sitting in the back of Grandma's Nissan Yeah, Panza, you were holding. And yeah. I was holding the thing on. Um, grandma, and you were in the front, me and yeah. Christy in the back, and I was sitting there holding the towel yeah. with her wrist yep. yeah. the whole way, speeding to the hospital. I think Grandma got pulled over on the way to the hospital. Ahead, I don't know. Yeah. You could yeah. Be yeah, I think she got no, pulled she got she over found, uh, on the way to the hospital for speed, and he yeah. escorted us yeah. to the hospital. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> watch, the, watch the cable there, Mom. Oh. You got that. You got your feet there. Move, buddy. He's fine. Buddy, move. Go lay down. He's good. Go lay down. Move on your plane. What, what's what's next on my list? Plan. What's up, so funny? You don't have any stories about me. They're all between you two because y'all were always at it. You were yeah, always pretty protecting much. me pretty much from Chris. <laughs> Quiet on the set. Well, you, you, were too, you were too fragile. I didn't want to break you. <laughs> Y'all used to hide me in the couch, in the hideaway couch. They used to fold it up with me in there. I forgot about that. And in I the dryer. They <laughs> shut the dryer with me in it. I remember I rode Christie's bike off the roof. Yeah, the purple yeah. one. Yeah. 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 The purple one, mm -hmm. I rode it off the roof into a pile of pine straw. Yeah. I, I was jackass before jackass was jackass. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you wonder why I'm... Got gray hair already. Dog bites. So the dog bites. Well, Mom already told you the one dog bite. That was um, JD. Oh JD. yeah, I forgot about that other one. That was JD the dog bite. Uh, that was 98 stitches inside and out. And then Grandpa, Chow. Grandpa's Chow buddy, bit me on the back of the leg. Yeah. When I was. 11 or 12. 12, I think. Yeah, that was, uh, that was 17 stitches. Yeah, and uh, how did that happen? I, I, was sitting, I was sitting on Grandpa's footstool, and Grandpa was sitting on his chair, yeah. and Dad was sitting in one of the wicker uh, rockers that were yeah. back by the front door. Yeah. And we were watching the Redskins game. Yeah. And the Redskins had just scored a touchdown, and I jumped up 
and was jumping up and down. Don't you ever learn. Huh? You never learn, do you, about jumping what? up and down with touchdowns? Uh, it, I mean, it, football it, injuries. It's no, gotten me. It's trouble. gotten me. Yeah. yeah. No, I so, so the buddy was sitting in between me and Grandpa, and he jumped up and latched onto the back of my leg, and he had grabbed the hold of it, and he was yanking back and forth yeah. like that. And I thought it was Dad slapping me on my leg, telling me to get out of the way because he couldn't see the TV. Yeah. And when I look back, there's Buddy's jaws like latched <laughs> on the back of my leg, just going to town back and forth. So back to Portsmouth Naval we went, and that was, like I said, another 17 stitches there from dogs. You're gonna have to work. The reason he, the reason he, the reason he did it. Wait a minute. The reason he did it is because he. Buddy thought Jonathan was gonna hit Grandpa. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's being protected. And protect Grandpa, yeah. I mean, any dog, yeah, does that. Yeah. Well, here's one. Here's one that I don't know if you guys even know this one or not. So, I was, I was pretty young. This is before we went to Iceland. So you two were still, still pretty, pretty young. One of the kids down the street, mom and dad had uh, had to go to the store or something like that. And they left us all home alone, you know? Because that's what you do. I was three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were good. Ten. You were ten, You're I was good. three. I don't know. You were five. They, were, they were asleep. Oh. No, 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 no. You don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? What am I about to talk about? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So mom, mom and dad left us home by ourselves, and it had to have been right after tax season because we had just got a whole bunch of new shit yeah. in the house, right? And the, one of the kids from down the street came down, and I was showing them the new knife set that mom and dad had bought. And the brand new, and the brand new kitchen chairs that they had bought. You told me this story. <gasps> And so we took the kitchen chairs out in the front yard, and I was showing them how sharp the knives were. These chairs, they were the vinyl chairs that had like the little round rubber yeah. bead that went around it. Yeah. We know shit took the brand new knives to the brand new chairs and chopped the shit out of them. Oh my God. I thought for sure Dad was going to murder me. What did he do? Oh, what did he hide? I don't think he stopped yelling for a week straight. <laughs> you He's dragged like, them out of like, Yeah, we took them in the front side. yard. <laughs> and we're f***ing like Let Chuck Norris. I don't why you're doing this. Who knows? Three. You were probably swinging from a tree in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> no clue. No clue. But yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> no idea why. I, I don't know why I did that shit. I don't know why I did You don't know why you're still alive, huh? Yeah. You don't know why you're still alive, huh? Actually, actually, let me, because the next one I have on the list, that may have been payback for this. When I was eight years old, we used to go out, because Uncle Mike lived with Grandma and Grandpa, and one of our favorite things to do with Uncle Mike was go shooting. Yeah. And so we would always go out and go shooting. You, your dad, and grandpa, and come yep. out. All of them. So when we were, we went shooting one time, and dad thought that he was going to go with us and go shooting. And dad, bless his heart, he's, he's a great guy, but he didn't know shit about guns. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, mind you, I had been shooting since I was four, so yeah. I already had plenty of time under my belt. <laughs> I knew what was up. <laughs> I knew what was up. I knew where to point the gun. I knew how to hold the gun. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I had guys that were in the Army showing me how to handle guns, not my yeah. dad who was in the Navy, yeah. who didn't yeah. know how to handle a gun. Yeah. So I was going to show Dad how to shoot the pistol. <laughs> At four? No, I was yeah. eight. Oh. I, I was eight. That. I remember that. I was either eight or nine. Eight or and nine. 
Yep. And I was going to show him, and Dad said, no, you can you can see it better if you hold it closer oh, and look God. down the sights. Oh, God. And so Dad pulled the gun in towards my face, a 22 caliber pistol, <laughs> Ruger pistol with, the, you know, the slide action. Okay, he pulls it back to my face, and I'm trying to push it out. He's pulling it back in. He pulls the trigger. The slide comes back and nails me right between the eyes. <laughs> Out cold. <laughs> out cold. The next thing I know, uh, knock me out. out. He passed knock me out. Crap out. out. Knock me out. Next thing I knew, I was waking up on the porch of the lady's house that we were shooting at <laughs> and with an ice pack on my freaking forehead. <laughs> that oh my god. And <laughs> asking dad, why did you do that to me? Why? Why did you do that to me, Dad? <laughs> I'm 40 years old, and I still want to know why you did that. So that that's that's what you got. Your chairs were payback for that. How about that? <laughs> but that wasn't the only damage done to my eye. <laughs> what club was that now? One of my other family members decided to take me out. <laughs> Christy did. In Iceland. You remember? Old. Yeah, yeah, when she kicked Shoot. her slipper off. That was a high heel. Grandma gave her some I, I high wanted, heels. I wanted high heels, and I begged Grandma and Grandpa, and they made me a pair of satin shoes that had a little heel on them. And yep. they may have even been tap yep. shoes. They could have had metal on them. And I was tapping around trying to be cute, and you kept making fun of me. <laughs> yeah. Shoes. I was making fun of her stupid shoes because she wouldn't leave me alone. She was chasing me around so all up and off. down the stairs inside the apartment place she was there. She yeah. at the top of the stairs, and you were down the stairs, yeah. and she kicked her shoe down there, and it she, hit your eye. She kicked at me, and yeah. the shoe flew off, and it hit me right in the eye. But guess yeah. what? There's a silver lining to the story. My You're vision, welcome. My vision is better in that eye than it is in the other eye. <laughs> And not Good only that, deal. You didn't rat me out. Wow. No, I didn't. What, what was your cover story for that? I can't even remember. You had some kind of cover story, and you didn't tell them that I was the one that did it. Nope, I didn't. I never, I never told. I can't remember when it finally came out that that's how that happened. It was probably when we were much older. You never told me about that. No, I never told. Uh, you never told me about, about that. This is huh? the first time I've heard of that. Oh my. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? Oh. What? When I took the clothesline to the mouth. Talk about getting close. Oh, yeah. 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 When I was riding around and my brand new mountain bike over at Grandma and Grandpa's yep. house. Yep. And I was riding through Carolyn and Hurley's backyard. Yep. Coming from the 460 side around to the community yeah. drive yeah. side. And I was cutting through their backyard and it was dusk. And I couldn't see very well. And I was standing up and I was chasing after somebody, probably Christy or Shannon. <laughs> and I was standing up and I was yelling at somebody. <laughs> and I took the clothesline <laughs> straight to the mouth. And it literally just took me completely off. off wow. The and I had my vein, vein. the vein. Came out, yeah. Yeah, the vein came out. It was like hanging out Ooh, of the yeah. side of my mouth. I can't remember Poor what we grandma. did. <laughs> Poor grandma. <laughs> wow. You might find I'm out. I didn't know half of the shit you kids did. <laughs> oh. What else you got? I don't know. <laughs> I got some stuff. You got some stuff? I got some stuff. All right. Okay. Shannon's yeah. up. Signing off, Bubby. Should I turn that?